changed the way I'm doing the pregnancy series and the pregnancy vlogs because at first I was going to just do one video at the end of each trimester unless something like exciting happened then I do something else but I think I kind of want to do it the way I did with nursing school where I did at least one per week and like if something exciting happens then maybe do two you know type of thing um I have a few not many chat not many but i have a few clips that i took during my first trimester and i'll go ahead and insert those so y'all can see those real quick at my 10 week doctor's appointment um they had me do a genetic testing like a blood test or whatever so in that genetic testing um they tested for like to see if i had anything that could possibly be a risk factor for the baby for any kind of diseases or anything um, it's also supposed to tell me what the sex of the baby is, but that part has not popped up yet, which is good because I don't want to know yet. We're going to do a gender reveal next month, but um, my genetic testing, everything came back negative. So I don't have any genetic traits that should cause any problems with the baby. Um, I don't know if that's something where they're going to want to test Sean too, because I mean, his two parents like maybe you should want to know if he has any kind of under i don't know like i really don't know but we go back on <gasps> sorry i'm yawning i'm tired per the usual we go back on the third of march so i'll ask about that when we go then so check in with you guys later okay i need to know why did nobody, and I do mean nobody, warn me about first trimester bloat and gas? It is real, Jesus, in like another level. Oh, oh, like, okay, like I knew you get bloated. I knew, you know, pregnancy gas is a whole thing. But like, really? I feel just so swollen today. Like, look at this. Seriously. Dude. I think some of it's gas. I don't think, this. like, there's no way that all of this is baby. It has to be gas. <laughs> I don't even hear your belly doing that. Because it definitely feels like it's, like, right here right now. It begins. <sighs> Truthfully, I think some of this crap is like bloat and like gas and stuff. I know I've said that before, but this ain't all, baby. Because pretty much pregnancy constipation has kicked in. So, yeah. And I don't really go to the restroom the way I was. So, some of it is need to go to the restroom. Some of it's probably like bloat and water weight, but yeah, definitely some of it's baby. Um, but yeah, so like really because of the virus and everything that's going around, there's not a whole lot that I've actually been doing. Like if I tried to tell you I was, I'd be lying. I haven't really been doing anything. So, yeah, um, honestly, my life is just working home. That's it. But I do want to kind of start, you know, telling you guys what I'm experiencing week by week. At the time of me shooting this video, I am 20 weeks, uh, which is, you know, a little five months, five months pregnant or whatever. So I am going to be doing a updated nursing Q&A as well as a pregnancy q and A. I I do have some of the questions already and you guys do still have time to send me some because i do plan on shooting that video well both of those videos because those are two separate videos between this week and next week so i can go ahead and get those out to you guys um so really the only thing i've been doing right now is work and home that's it um sean and i have went to the park a few times 
Um, if I need to go to the grocery store, I go to the grocery store, but I've honestly been trying to avoid that. I've been doing a lot of curbside pickups, so I don't have to go into the grocery store to try to avoid as much contamination from me to others and others to me as possible. Um, and then like, I don't know if you can tell, like you're probably figured, trying to figure out what's going on with my hair right now, but stop it, stop it. Um, but yeah, if you're trying to figure out what's going on with my hair right now, like I just have it in some twists and that is because with work, our uh, PPE or personal protective equipment is changing. Sorry, if you hear a little rattle, that's Bear. He's, his little, um, what is it called? Collar is jingling, but yeah. So our personal protective gear is changing like dang near every week. It's something different. Um, so pretty much now I try to keep my hair put away if I can. So. I'm waiting on my surgical caps to come in, but for right now, I just have some of these like silk lined, like bonnet like things or whatever the heck you, I don't know what you call these things. So I pretty much just wear those or I have like some of the thicker headbands that can actually cover my whole head if I wanted them to. So I really just wear those because I do have to wear like a face shield, a mask and all that type of stuff. So it kind of protects the stuff from touching my hair because I do have to take it on and off throughout the day. Um, and it pretty much just because I don't know about you, but me, I touch my hair a lot. And then like if I touch my hair, then I might touch my face, my eyes, whatever. Um, so I try to just keep it put away so I won't touch that. And like when I come home, you know, that goes in the washer, which when I do the nursing video, stop it, bear. When I do the nursing video, I will like update you guys on all that with my PPE and what do I do right now um, during the pandemic when I get home from work. So you guys can see that if you want to as well. Um, so what I'm going to do by the end of this video is I'm going to insert like some of the, the ultrasound, little clips of the ultrasound video that I have from all the way from the first visit to currently. I do go back in, I think two weeks for uh, my next visit. I should be six months at the time. So I go back then, but yeah, um, I do want to start trying to record as much as possible when we're on our way to the doctor. Unfortunately, as with most people right now, when we go to the doctor, um, Sean can't come in with me. Now my OB Jen is kind enough to let the dads come in doing the ultrasound part. And then right after the ultrasound, they have to leave right back out. Like that's all they can come in for. They can't sit in the waiting room. They can't do anything else. So yeah, um, but I am going to try to start recording when we go in with the doctor saying and everything like that. Um, for week 20, the only real things that's happened new this week that I've experienced, um, well, it's not really new, but I, I do get back pain more often, especially with work. Um, I've been having headaches quite frequently, which most of the time with my headaches, I really think is just because I'm tired. And a lot of times I can just lay down, go to sleep and I'm good. Like I'm fine after I do that. But lately I, I don't know, like sometimes when I have them, like I have to go ahead and take a Tylenol. And what I try to do, I try to just take one Tylenol and like see if that'll work. And if it doesn't, then, you know, after trying rest and drinking water, all that, I will go ahead and take another one. I have also this week been peeing so freaking much. Oh my God. Like literally, not even kidding. I use the restroom. I will put my clothes back on, wash my hands. And typically by the time I go sit back down or I get back on the floor for work, I can feel the urge to go to the restroom again. And a lot of times, especially if I'm at work, I'll try to hold it a little bit because it's like, I need to try to take care of my patients. But it seems seriously seems like every two to five minutes, I have to go to the restroom and it's not a little bit of pee. It's like quite a bit of pee actually, which is 
so weird to me. It's so weird. Um, I also have been experiencing her kick a whole lot more. Like, a lot more. She moves a lot more and kicks a lot more. Especially when I, like, just finished eating or something. I was like, she's so her mother's child. You know, we love food. So, she used to moving a lot when I eat. Um... I have been to the point now where when she kicks and stuff, you can kind of see it. Like, it's not super prominent yet, but it's like, you see it. Like, my belly obviously moves. And then, um, you can also feel it. Like, if your hand's there, you can feel it when she kicks. But, like, <laughs> it was so funny because the other day, um, she kicked and I tried to put Sean's hand on my belly. As soon as his hand got there, she stopped. Then um, he was sleeping and she started moving and I could see her moving. So I pulled my phone out to try to record. And as soon as I pulled my phone out, she stopped. And I was, I got frustrated. I was like, you freaking can't keep, what are you doing? So I was like all upset and frustrated. And I was like, I am totes gonna kick this parenting thing's butt. <laughs> like I'm frustrated already. And she ain't even here yet. Cause she ain't doing what I want her to do, but whatever whatever so yeah so um those are the main things i think i've experienced this week also with eating i cannot eat very much this week. like you know how a lot of times i guess the further along you get you want to eat more i can't i get hungry more frequently but if i try to eat a lot at once i'll feel stuffed and i'll feel like i'm going to throw up um, like the other day at work, I went to, um, it's this little diner place called Sparkles that I had never heard of, even though I grew up in the area, I had never heard of this freaking place, but, um, it's not too far from where I work. So I was like, my coworkers was like, Hey, let's go, you know, to, to Sparkles and get something to eat. And so I was like, okay, cool. So I got some breakfast from there and it was a decent amount of breakfast and I ate that and honestly I made myself eat too much and I didn't feel very well afterwards but honestly after I started moving around I was kind of okay and then when lunchtime came around I wasn't hungry at all for lunch so I ended up just bringing my lunch home and then I did start to get hungry a little later so I do keep like uh, some chips, crackers and stuff like that in my bag. So I just ate my chips and crackers and stuff. And in my updated nursing video, I will do a like what's in my bag like thing so you guys can see it. It's nothing fancy, but I did it for nursing school, so why not? I'll show you guys what's in my bag. Um, but yeah, so I think that's really it for, for 20 weeks. Um, I really think it sucks that I didn't think to do this earlier, but like I said, it's like right now it's just a lot going on. It was a mixture of me being a nurse, me being a new nurse. I was trying, well still is, trying to plan a wedding, um, trying to figure out pregnancy a little bit, which I'm still honestly figuring it out. Um, and I don't know, it was just like, I, when I get home, I'd be so tired. And a lot of times when I'm at work, I'm tired. On my off days, I'm kind of tired. So I wasn't really thinking, hey, let's film what I have going on. Let's film these things that I'm going through. I really didn't think to do that, which kind of sucks because now I kind of wish I had it. But like, as I experience things, I'm definitely going to um, update you guys on that. And then I'll kind of show you guys, um, some of the different stuff I've been doing. Cause like I said, I'm still using the, um, what to expect app. And if you guys have any questions about that, leave them below. I'll try to answer them in the like pregnancy Q and A video as well. Pretty much any questions that you may have, go ahead and leave them for me. I'm going to answer them, but that's all I have for you. Try not to make this video too long. Cause honestly, I'm just talking. Ain't nothing fancy pants happening. Um, and some of the like nursing is going to cross over with the pregnancy because with me doing these weekly vlogs, 
like since all I really do is work and go home you're gonna get a little clip of work in there so uh, so yeah so thank you guys so 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 very much for watching thank you for being patient with me I hope you and your family is being safe I hope y'all are healthy and well wash your hands cover your mouth cover your sneezes don't touch your face all those things if you can okay and i will see you guys next time bye